Hey family, happy Friday. Look, I know everybody, well, I have a lot of my female subscribers asking me about my natural hair. Whew. So, because of this season, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you what I do. And look, it's really no secret. It's really no secret. So, for the past, I want to say by the time I was maybe, I don't know, 13 to what, 47 or could be 48 or 49. I don't know when I did the big chop, but I was real self-conscious. I felt that I wanted my hair straight. Um, my mother used to always put uh, barrettes in my hair, um, but as far as about natural hair, but I just wanted to say, um, I don't know, you get a little self-conscious, you feel like you're ugly. As, as me as a child, I was like, man, my hair is just terrible. It's so thick and, and nappy, and I don't know about you guys, but my hair was like a Brillo pad when I was little. Yeah, I think I have good hair now. I don't know. Look, once I said, let me just do the big chop, believe me, it was hard. It was hard. I was like, I don't know, I already got a big forehead. Y'all see my forehead? Y'all see my videos. I have a big forehead. And I was like, I don't care. I'm going to do it. And I actually looked and I was like, wow. You know, who lied? <laughs> we got beautiful hair. Y'all hear my stories. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I slipped it in. But I'm being so real with you. And this is like a hard video. Because I really don't like talking about myself, self, like in depth. But I'm just going to give it to you guys. Um... I'm just going to just tell you what I do. Okay, so when I did the big chop, I would wash my hair every day. I mean, every day. And I, it didn't really care about the product. What I did was I was just, I just wanted to support black owned businesses. So I would buy just like a leave in conditioner and I would just let rock leave in conditioner. And then I was thinking, Hey, you're not putting any oils in your hair. So I will use either castor oil. Yes, I said castor oil vitamin e and maybe a little bit of coconut oil but i always just massage my scalp as i'm just massaging my scalp i realized my hair is getting longer and longer and i wasn't really doing anything every six months i will go and get the ends clipped you know i will go and get a haircut and look <laughs> i ain't gonna lie i don't know i don't know back at, i don't know do, look did you guys do you feel this is like a just me, just me. Do you guys actually feel like, oh, uh, because your hair dirty, you feel like your body's dirty, you feel like your face is dirty? I used to feel like that because I was like, yeah, I know back in the day you got a fresh perm, like, oh, I can't get my hair wet, don't get my hair wet. And they don't realize it was like, I just felt self conscious. I was like, oh, I don't want to get my hair wet because I don't want to mess up my hair. It took me this long to do it and everything else because I really did not really do my hair I did it was really rock ponytails look I still do I still do and look I still don't know how to do my hair I twist it y'all be seeing me in the videos all I do is untwist this first piece right here and I just swoop it to the side or I'll put a piece here and I'll just wet it go like this with my hands and whatever curl pattern come out that's what I use with my scarf look <laughs> And you see the other videos where my hair is just down. Well, I just wanted to show you what's up under there. This is what's up under there. This is, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is what's under there. This is what I've been hiding under there. I just twist my hair up and leave it. I just twist it. First it was big plaits, then I got smaller and smaller. My hair is actually thin. My hair is not really full, but it's actually thin if you guys look at it. But... I just felt that the natural oils and leave-in, leave-in conditioner, because you want to moisten your hair, and you just want to do something that just, you know, keep your scalp healthy. I am no expert. This is my personal opinion. Y'all kept asking me what I do with my natural hair. Yes, now what I do is, like every three or four days, I will wash it, have leave-in conditioner, and yes, I will twist my hair with leave-in conditioner, just you know a black owned I'm not gonna put it out there which one just you know you, you your body will tell you your hair will tell you what you like and what don't like if it flake you know it's not good if it actually holds moisture and it make your hair healthier you keep that I went through at least I'm not gonna lie about six different companies 
that I just, you know, just try, just, just trying stuff. I got like, y'all know how we are. <laughs> we go in our closet and we got so many different um, hair care products. You're like, man. And then you just find one you like. No, I use them all the way. I, I use them all the way, especially the, the shampoo and conditioner. Y'all already seen my last video. I already told you what shampoo and conditioner I use, but I try to go with a black-owned company. Try to go with a black-owned company. But far as like vitamin E oil and coconut oil or even olive oil or castor oil, castor oil I get the organic. And I just take it and I massage my scalp. No, I really don't put it to my ends of my hair or whatever. It's getting there because, you know, whatever you put on your scalp. And you can rub some stuff on your ends. I really don't do that. What I normally do is I'll just take whatever product I have, whatever product I have, and I just make sure that I, when I twist my hair, I just, you know, make sure it's wet. And then, or I'll just spray some water and I will take my brush and I will just comb it. I was combing as I'm combing it and I just twist it. I just put my product on there and twist it. I just keep it real moist. I kid you not, I just keep it real moist. But this is my hair straight from taking the scarf off. You're really getting out of bed, taking the scarf off. And all I do is take my hair. So, you know, I'm looking crazy. And no, y'all see me, I really don't do my hair. <laughs> I don't, but I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn. <laughs> I'm gonna learn, you know, we're in this this dimmick. So I pretty much I stay home all the time. I stay home all I do is go to the grocery store, go to the post office. That's the majority of my life, be honest. So what I need to do my hair for. So I wanna say I did the big chop in I wanna say either 17 or 18. I have no clue. I think I did it in I don't know. So this is maybe three years or two years, two and a half years. And look, when I, you already know when you have a perm in your hair and if you perm it wrong, you, you burning your ends. I remember, um, doing my perm and I was in Puerto Rico and I actually permed my hair and my hair was just falling out of my hands. I literally, my hair was like this long. I was like, what did I do? And I was like, man, I just I just twisted. I just rock twist the whole time until my hair grew back. I ain't know what I'm doing. And I look, I don't know. I don't really know the perms. I did the perms myself. I did the perm myself. I would buy the cheapest, whatever, three, four dollars, because I was on a budget. And that's what I did. And be honest, when I started this, I just bought the cheapest product. I didn't care what it was, as long as it had some vitamin E, even avocado. Well, I eat avocados every day. I don't know. I don't know what the trick is, but I eat avocado every day. At least one a day, I'll eat avocado. Yes, I do eat a lot of leafy green vegetables, and I am drinking a lot of water, and I do take my vitamins and herbs. So it the, a secret is, is what you're putting in your body, is what you're putting on your skin. You know, is what you're putting on your skin. Yes, I make my own soap. Y'all see in the back. Look, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Herbalist Luna. I love you. But I make my own soap now. <clears throat> she taught me how to make my own soap, make my own deodorant. I did make my own hair care products, but I felt, you know, I just felt that, you know, it just wasn't cleaner for some reason, you know. Well, <laughs> I just felt that it was kind of heavy, you know. I don't know the mixtures. And now that I learned, look, Herbalist Luna showed me how to you know, look up different charts so you know the right chemicals for your hair, you know, the right products for your hair. But I try to use something that's all natural. So I try to stay natural. So that could be the key why my hair is so healthy. Because I want to say back when I was perming my hair, um, truth be told, my hair, you know, wasn't really this, it didn't get this, well, it real. It didn't really get this long so fast. So I can imagine if I actually blow my hair out, which I probably won't do. Because if I do that, I'm thinking it's going to mess up my curl pattern. I don't know. But I want to get somebody that's going to do it where it's not going to mess up my hair. Or, you know, y'all know what I mean. For those natural girls who actually blew their hair out and, and, and um, straightened it to where you had to, like, redo your hair, you know, go back and do another big chop. And I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to see how long it, how me personally, I just going to see how long it grows. You know, I will learn to do different styles. I, you know, I got a, <laughs> a couple of cousins and friends that say they would love to do my hair. And I'm like, shoot, after this dimmick is over, I would try. But 
truth be told, there's really no hidden secret of what I really do. I just try. You just got to try what really fits for you. I don't know what my, my, um, my, uh, is it 4C, 3C, but I think I'm a, a 4, whatever, you know, people was, you know, asked different questions about, I don't know, about the, the texture I just knew I was a the worst the the not the I just knew I was like the 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 top I just knew I was like a 4C or whatever you know far as my that's like the curl pattern but you just be thinking about the, the thickness in your hair I remember when I was would get a uh when I was perming my hair and I would go like this and I'd be like man you need to you know relax them them roots and it was just mainly of just conditioning my hair and combing it down to the ends you know I mean combing it to the scalp and make sure that you know your scalp is healthy because your scalp is healthy your hair is healthy but it's no secret you guys it's no secret of what I do to my hair I just wanted to show you yeah I don't care how I look cuz uh you know the beauty is within I feel the beauty is within whatever you see on the outside is you know that's that's what you but the beauty is within but I just wanted to show you my hair and answer your guys questions um you know and just talk about my hair and what I do yes I do make sure I take vitamin A B C D E yes a complex B vitamin D3 yes I make sure I take K and I make sure I take E I do get the vitamin E oil. I rub it on my hands most of the time. You know what I'm saying? Well, most of the time, y'all see me doing my shea butter. But I try to make sure that I do the rosemary oil because I just want to make sure I get that in my body because, you know, it does help. Shoot. It help relaxes you. And I always think about my inflammation. I always think about, like, some of my, sometimes my aches and pains. And then, you know, I do get pain in the back of my neck because I did have a pinched nerve. And believe it or not, even if I had the surgery, sometimes I still feel the pain. And I just like, look, I ain't having that. And I'll do the pain. I don't know if it's the weather. We Look, we don't know. But I know I'm rambling. But I know I wanted to tell you about my hair. It's really no secret. It's really no secret. It's, it's, it's what your hair, you know, it's pretty much what your hair likes. That's all I can say is what your hair likes. But just make sure you're using some type of coconut oil because when I look at the products, I just, I, I be in there reading like, hmm, let me try this. So avocado oil is good. You know, um, coconut oil, the definitely vitamin, vitamin E, castor oil. I used to put coconut oil in my daughter's hair all the time, all the time. I made sure a couple of clips, they probably be like, no, ma, but I just want to tell you, I didn't really do any anything secret. I keep it moisture. I just keep it moist. I just keep it moist all the time. Make sure that I have some type of conditioner, some kind of oil. I'll just, you know, go in there and rub my scalp. And uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if the trick is keeping it clean. You know, you can speak to your hairstylist. But back in the day, I thought if I kept my hair dirty. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I kept my hair dirty, like wash my hair. It wasn't like once a week. I don't think I was washing my hair every two weeks unless I was in the field, you know, or unless I was whatever. Shoot, downrange or whatever. You know, I kept it dirty. I ain't going to lie. You ain't really have time to keep it clean. I would just put a whole bunch of product in my hair, whatever. That was on the shelves. Put a whole bunch of product. As long as it laid down, I was happy. As long as it laid down and I kept in the ponytail, kept it back and kept it flat, I was happy. I, I promise you. But now I just make sure I use something that's all natural. Nothing that's going to clog my pores or anything. But that's basically what I use. So, just showing you raw <laughs> footage of how I look and what's up under that cap. I'm going to be like, what's up under that cap? But this is me. I don't know if I... I don't even have uh, I don't even have a whatchamacallit, but y'all know how I be. Y'all know how I be. But yeah, so I'm just showing you my hair. This is my hair. It's no secret. It's no secret. Um the conditioner and the shampoo that I use, it just wasn't really, you know, it just wasn't really cleaning my hair like I liked. It just felt I just felt that um what it did, it just felt I don't know if you ever washed your hair and your hair felt like it was going to pop. So I stopped. So I stopped. And now I'm learning to make my own. You know, I'm learning to make my own. Because I'm just, you know, dibbling, dabbling. I just want to make sure I make my own leave-in conditioner 
or a good a better conditioner because it's all about conditioner yes i do do deep oil treatments in my hair you know i, I yeah i be going to the store <laughs> and i look for a black owned i know y'all like or a to support my brothers and sisters and i will look for you know their product and i'll just try a leave-in conditioner or a leave-in deep conditioner and yeah it's a little pricey but you know you gotta love your hair and you gotta love what you do and just make sure you're a i just worry about my 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 scalp being clogged you know i'll be like i don't want to do that so i just make sure that i you know just take care of my hair so just want to put that out there look happy friday enjoy enjoy your family and this is herbalist viola and that's the secret about my hair <laughs> And you know you got to drink your burdock tea. All right now.